Hello friends and welcome to this video on the training module where we'll be discussing the anatomy of the internal iliac artery. The artery of the pelvis, the artery which we all like, the artery on which the career of a routine gynecologist would otherwise depend upon, be it gynecological or obstetric emergencies. So I'm drawing the vertebrae for you and then it leads into the sacral promontory and the sacral promontory then goes down to form the sacral bones into the depth of the pelvis. All right. It's important for us to understand that the common iliac, okay, this common iliac is going to continue as the external iliac and just below the sacral promontory, it will actually branch to form a vessel which goes into the depth of the pelvis. This vessel which goes into the depth of the pelvis is going to be the internal iliac artery which then actually terminates as the obliterated umbilical. Okay, so I am drawing it as an obliterated vessel. For students, it is important to understand that immediately it would branch off into a posterior division which exits in the pelvis and an anterior division which then continues downwards for a little length. This anterior division is then going to give multiple branches. All right. So some important branches which we are going to draw and label are going to be the pudendal branch which exits and goes downwards. Slightly above that on to the medial side it will give a branch which is the obturator which exits through the obturator foramen which is again important for us to understand as a vessel it will give the artery which we all love and that is the uterine artery which is the only curved artery as amongst all its branches okay so i'm just drawing it nice and curved sometimes it will also give rise to a small vesicle branch okay which continues there and infrequently it will give rise to a vessel which is called as the middle rectal so i'm just drawing it as a dark vessel because it is very infrequent. So here you see and I'll just label off the branches. So this is your external iliac. Okay. This is where it branches from the common iliac and goes to form the internal iliac. So here it is the main division of internal iliac but the dotted line represents the depth. This is the posterior division which escapes the pelvis. So this is your posterior division which escapes the pelvis. This is your important obturator artery. This is your obliterated umbilical artery. You will see this anatomy beautiful in applied anatomy sessions. This is your vesicle artery. This is the uterine artery, common branch. This is your pudendal artery. Again, a very common branch and a little infrequent branch, which I may call as the middle rectal artery. Now, important to understand for students that whenever you are doing internal iliac ligation in obstetrics, the internal iliac ligation typically happens at the anterior division. Okay, so this is where you are going to be doing your ligation in obstetrics. Okay. When you are doing uterine artery coagulation at origin, this is where the uterine artery coagulation at origin occurs. All of this usually occurs. All these guys are usually the branches of the anterior division of the internal iliac. Okay. Please remember one time more, this is a branch in the depth of the pelvis. So it is actually going to be covered. Okay. With a good amount of fibro fatty tissue. All right, there is going to be a good cover of fibro fatty tissue based on the fat in the patient. It is also going to be covered. I'll just draw it in brown with lymphatics through the junction because obturator, cervical, all these are very important junctures. Very close to this correlation, you are going to have also our dear friend ureter, which is going to come and go underneath the uterine so we are going to explain this in a separate session 
and again very close to all of this you are going to have the venus anatomy obviously when we cover and collate this entire topic into one you will have a much better understanding but this is the broad understanding of the anatomy and the divisions of the internal iliac artery for the questions and further doubts can be solved privately on whatsapp and we hope that you will be joining in for the next training sessions on this thank you so much